Hi everyone. Welcome to another yoga session as we bring our hands to prayer position at our heart center, setting an intention for our practice. I'm Christine Drummond and excited to be here with you on the yoga mat today as we take our arms above our head and then leaning over to the right, left arm comes up and over so we get a side stretch and then planting down through the left hand, right arm up and over. Over to the right again. Back to the left side. Hands to prayer position and then twisting the upper body around to the left. Left hand behind the bottom, right hand on the left knee. Inhaling and then exhaling as we twist to the right side. Left hand on right knee. Inhaling as we raise our arms above our head, exhaling as we twist, remembering to sit tall and making sure we're deepening that breath, not just shallow breathing in our chest, but we want to really deepen it through to the belly. Back to the middle and walking the hands forward now as we fold our upper body over our legs. stretch in and around the hips or the glutes, maybe even the inside of the thigh. Seeing if we can get a little bit lower, stretching the arms out even further. And then gently walking the feet walking the hands back towards the feet and changing the feet over and then melting the upper body over the legs again coming down onto our forearms breathing deeply maybe taking the arms out a bit further straightening the arms and seeing if we can get a little bit lower with the body whatever feels good dropping the head between the arms And 
placing the right hand beside the face, gently coming back up to tabletop, bringing the feet together and then threading the arms underneath the body, coming in for child's pose as we gently rest our right cheek on the mat. Our hands are resting on our feet. Filling up all the space between the body and the arms and legs. Gently rising and then taking the arms out in front as we come into our puppy dog pose. Hips are high and our knees are still bent, arms are straight, and we're bending the spine so that we're curving and taking the chest towards the floor. Bringing the hands back towards the body and then threading them underneath as we come back into child's pose, this time resting the left cheek on the mat. the toes and pushing back into downward facing dog maybe pedaling out the legs coming over onto the top of the feet stretching the calves high plank and then bringing the left knee underneath the body and then the right knee left knee towards the left hand right knee towards the right hand one more time each side pushing back to downward facing dog feet between the hands as we forward fold over the legs, maybe hugging them with our arms and then gently rolling the body up as we come to a standing position, arms up overhead and then to our heart center. to chair pose as we take our arms out in front, dropping the hips towards the mat. Bringing hands to heart center and then turning the body to the left. Gently resting the right arm on the outside of the left knee, back to the middle and then over to the other side. Resting the left arm on the outside of the right knee. leg around the left coming into eagle pose and wrapping the right arm around the left dropping down low and then keeping the right knee bent and then taking it back towards the back wall as our arms come out to the side. Now we really wanna try and get the body parallel with the floor. Didn't quite get the height with my leg. And then 
changing over to the other side. So left leg wrapping around the right, left arm wrapping around the right arm. Coming into eagle as we take the hips down a little bit. And then keeping the left knee bent, taking that leg back and then taking the arms out to the side a t-shape and then gently bringing both feet back together stepping back now with the right foot coming to a low lunge dropping the back knee and untucking the toes left arm goes towards the sky right hand plants down into the mat hands framing that front foot and then walking the left foot to the outside of the mat and pushing that knee or guiding that knee away from the body and then bringing the right foot up as we drop into our yogic squat palms are together feet uh, out towards the side on a 45 degree angle and we're just hovering above the earth and then placing the hands on the mat gently rolling up to standing bringing the feet together hands at prayer position forward folding Dropping the left leg back and untucking the toes. Right hand goes towards the ceiling. Framing the front foot and then walking the right foot to the outside of the mat. Gently guiding it out on a 45 degree angle to open up the hips. knees together as we come into a closed legged child's pose. Arms are gently resting by our side. Hands resting on our feet. Our foreheads connected with the earth. Just bring some awareness there. What do you feel? Does it feel numb? Does it feel warm? And then tucking the toes, coming back into downward facing dog. Maybe bending the knees. And coming into dolphin pose. So staying up on the forearms. And then what I would love you to do is just place the head on the mat. Eventually we're going to be building up into headstands. Dropping the knees and then coming over onto your bottom. Lowering down to the mat. Bring the left leg up and over the right. Taking our gaze over to the left side of the body. over the left, gazing over to the right side, hugging the knees in towards the chest, slowly lowering the feet back to the mat and then taking the legs long as you start to slow down the breathing slowing down the mind and coming into this beautiful space you've created for your body to relax and heal 
sense of calmness that so many of us search for throughout our day. You guys have actually gifted it to yourself today. So take a moment to enjoy the peace and serenity that this moment brings. fingers and the toes now, maybe stretching the hands or the arms and then rolling over onto your side. Sitting up and crossing the legs. today as we lower them to our lips. May we speak kind and loving words today as we lower them to our heart. May we have kind and loving intentions today. Thank you for being here with me. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.